And I think we are maybe live. I'm going to uh, go to Facebook and see what's going on here. If anybody's there, feel free to chime in. Let me know if we actually went live here. I'm at GraceWorks Church tonight. Michael Pretty Man, going to see if I'm live. Yeah, there I am. I'm going to share this. <laughs> I'm going to share this to the... Uh, uh, to the Grace Works Church page, and that way other folks can see it. And well, and Jeff is watching and shared. Come on, there we go. Publish. Okay, there we go. You know what I need to do? I, need, I had the speakers on here. We were playing music in here, jamming out a minute ago. So I'm going to cut those speakers off real quick here from my phone. While I'm waiting for people to join, and Jeff says you're you're live. All right, yeah. So. Um, what do I use to cut this off? Okay, that's what I use. And um, uh, hit the share button because only the diehards <coughs> are here tonight. We have a couple who may be coming in a little bit late. But uh, if there is inclement weather out, I know who to call. So, uh, yeah. So, uh, Judy is here. Right now it's just me and Judy. But I know there's a couple more people coming. <coughs> if you're wondering what's going on, there's a hurricane that uh, hit, uh, came through New Orleans the other, last night, early this morning, and now it is moving up. Is that right? Is that when it came in? It, yeah, it's going, I think, towards Pennsylvania. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of moving up, and it's kind of hooking and hitting us a little bit, and we just got a couple of strong bands of weather a couple minutes ago, and it's going to start raining and raining and raining here, uh, uh, here pretty soon. Pat's watching, Mom's watching, Tiffany's watching, and uh, <coughs> y'all hit the share button. <clears throat> we don't have many in-person uh, folks here tonight because, I th honestly think it's because of the weather. We have a scheduled first Monday, second Monday, third Monday, and fourth Monday of the month trivia places that we go. I think on the first Monday, don't we go on the first Monday, we get a Mocha Hede Mexican restaurant. Yeah. And then the second one, we get a Redstone. Uh, Lee's watching. Uh, the second Monday of the month, we go to Redstone. And then the third Monday, we go to um, Gondolier. Yeah, Gondolier. Gondolier. And then on the fourth Monday, Jax. we go to Jack's. And, um, uh, well, it's the fifth Monday. <laughs> <laughs> so those are on the calendar. Those Mondays are. This is a fifth Monday. So we just said, hey, well, let's have it at the church. We thought we'd see what the turnout's like. But uh, the hurricane decided to come through starting tonight so big dinner spread <laughs> yeah I, we have tables out we have all kinds of stuff coconut cake everything else in the house but uh so it's all ours so uh, anyway we're gonna go ahead and get started here um because it is 6 31 um we are doing um we, i should have done hurricanes in the bible but i knew or storms or something like that that might be a good one storms in the bible um but i'm doing hair in the bible uh -oh. hair in the bible and uh so, yeah, are they coming? Yeah. All right, we, we have some more people coming in here, <clears throat> but we're doing hair in the Bible, and uh, hit the share button. Uh, we are here at Grace Works Church, and uh, I'll go ahead and hit question number one here. <clears throat> they just came pulling up. Question number one, who was the Nazarite judge known for his long hair who was physically the strongest man to ever walk the face of the earth? You're on the spot. Oh, wow. Um, he, was, he was the strongest man to ever walk on the face of the earth. He had long hair. Anybody know the answer to that? Don't shout it out. You'll ruin it for everybody. <laughs> Tiffany says... Samson? Samson, yes. That Tiffany's, Tiffany says Samson. We have, Mom says Samson. Um, who else? Anybody else agree that it was Samson? Anybody else think it was Thor? Pat says Goliath. Pat uh, Quaid Smith says Goliath. Lee says Samson. <clears throat> so, who was the Nazarite judge known for his long hair who was physically the strongest man to ever walk the face of the earth? Most everybody is saying Samson. And if Randy says Samson. So, if you guys said Samson, you are correct. I may repeat that. I may repeat that one for all the ones who are getting ready to walk in here in a second. Question number two. Hair Bible trivia. Hair Hair Bible Trivia. So um, hit the share button so others can uh, watch this as well. <clears throat> um, hair Bible Trivia. What was the name? What was the name 
of the girl who cut Samson's hair? Delilah. Oh, we have someone in the house who has given out an answer. The only one in the house right now. <laughs> the rest of them are coming into the house. Hey, guys, we're, we're live. Help yourself to some coconut cake in there if you like. Uh, All right. so. answer the first question. Though. Yeah, hey. We have some saying Delilah. Tiffany says Delilah. Louise says Delilah. The first question, who was the Nazarite judge known for his long hair who was physically the strongest man to ever walk the face of the earth? Who do y'all think that was? Superman. Superman. <laughs> that was... That was <laughs> close. It was, that was Samson, question number one Samson, was. I mean. And question number two we're on right now. Question number two. What was the name of the girl who cut Samson's hair? Oh, uh, say it out loud. You're right. Delilah? Yep, Delilah. And that's what they've been saying online here. So you guys are all cut up on the trivia. So um, we got Samson and Delilah out of the way. The, tri the trivia topic for tonight is hair in the Bible. Speaking of hair, these guys got a nice haircut because they're back in school. So, uh, <laughs> the, uh, the, so they got their haircut for school, I'm sure. So um, question number three, hair in the Bible. And uh, question number three, hair in the Bible. When Delilah, <clears throat> you're going to have to just guess at this. Probably. Uh, hey, it's all right. Spelling, it's spell check. Blame it on spell check, Randy. When Delilah was trying to convince Samson, Samson to tell her where he got his strength, he lied to her about what to do with his hair to make him lose his strength. So he told her that the braids of his hair had to be tied down to something and he would lose his strength. He lied to her and said his hair would have to be tied down to lose his strength because she was trying to figure it out. When he said that, he said how many braids he had to have in his hair. What was the number of braids that he had to have his hair in? You can just have to take a guess on this 20. one. It's 20. We have a guess of 20. Anybody else want to guess? The two guys in the room like me probably don't know anything about braids and hair. So, You said 10? We have someone who says 10. How many? He lied to her, you know, because we know that he, to cut his hair, that would make him lose his supernatural strength. Superman. Yeah, <laughs> Superman. Louis says 12. Anybody else have a guess on how many braids it was? How many did you say? 19. <laughs> 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 Tiffany says 7. So there's 12, 7, 20, 19. Randy says 7. What did you say? Three? Thirty. Thirty. We have someone who says that Jeff says four. Anybody else? The answer is out there. Somebody has given the correct answer. So Me. Father Dave. <laughs> <laughs> was it your studio audience? It was the Bible. <laughs> Lee says seven. Well, we have some good guesses in the house, so I'll go ahead and give you the answer. The answer is seven. Oh. Seven braids. He did not do the micro braid thing. The Joe Dirt. So uh <clears throat> it was seven. So, uh, guys, hit the share button. We are doing hair in the Bible. We don't have a lot of people here tonight because we uh, are in the midst of a hurricane. I think we're in the eye of it right now. We're not in the midst of it. But, uh, do we have a place and to hide? Tiffany was right. What's that? Do we have a place to hide? Yes, we do. Okay. We're, we'll hide at the altar. So uh, <clears throat> we're in the right place. All right, question number four. Question number four. Who was the person that anointed Jesus' feet with perfume and she used her hair? Anybody know who that was? Mary Magdalene. We have a Mary Magdalene. Any other guesses? Because we had that question kind of in reverse a few weeks ago. Yeah, exactly. Who was the person that anointed Jesus' feet with perfume using her hair? Perfume, perfume using her hair. Anyone else in the house? We have a Mary Magdalene. <clears throat> Anyone else? Linda. My mom says Mary. You're good company agreeing with my mom over there. So, uh, <laughs> so Jeff says Mary. Tiffany Pat says so Mary. Mary. Well, Pat says Mary Magdalene. <laughs> <clears throat> Lee says Mary. Louise says Mary Magdalene. I would have probably gone with Mary too, trying not to misspell Magdalene. I'd go with uh, Mary M. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Mary M. That would have been M and M. So, uh, <clears throat> well, if you said Mary Magdalene, you are correct. It was Mary Magdalene. Uh, hair in the Bible. These guys are on it. So hopefully, there's no hair in their food that they are eating. So, all right. Uh, <laughs> it's like. Ooh. 
All right, uh, question number five. Question number five. Who got their hair cut in a tree? Uh, oh, excuse me. Who got their hair caught in a tree while riding a mule? I'll give you, I'll, I'm going to give you some multiple choice on this. Was it Absalom or was it Joab? This is in 2 Samuel chapter 18. Who got their hair caught in a tree while riding a mule? Was it Absalom or was it Joab? Joab. Joab. We got some Joabs in the house. Absalom. So, you'll go with Absalom. We got somebody who's going to be the rebel and go with Absalom. <laughs> Anybody online got a guess here? To kind of finish the story, what happened, he got his hair caught in a tree, and he got stuck in the tree with his hair, and somebody came along and killed him. Oh. So, uh, Tiffany says Absalom. Uh-oh. Louise says Absalom. Uh -oh. The rebel, maybe. I need for a helmet. Joab. Jeff says Joab. Mom says Absalom. That means you're in good company of mom saying that. Lee says Absalom. Anybody else? Second Samuel chapter 18 says Absalom. <laughs> so, <laughs> so you were right. Second Samuel 18 says Absalom. So Absalom was who it was. Good job, guys. Question number six, hair Bible trivia. Hair in the Bible, however you want to call it. Question number six, who was, oh, this one's interesting. Who was the bald-headed prophet in the Old Testament that, that was mocked by a group of boys who called him Baldy. Then he cursed them in the name of the Lord. And two female bears came out and mauled 42 of the boys. Was it Elisha or was it Elijah? Elisha. We have someone in the house saying Elisha. You going with that? So these kids came out and made fun of the bald dude. And then he got mad at him and cursed him in the name of the Lord. And then two bears, female bears, came out and wore 42 of them out. Which is an intricate kind of a laughing story unless you were one of those 42 guys with their parents maybe. Uh, Louis says Elisha. Lee says Elisha. Tiffany says Elisha. Michael says don't ever make fun of a bald man. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> Everybody's saying Elisha. It's in 2 Kings 2, verses 23 and 25. Mom says Elisha. And <laughs> Pat says Mr. E. <laughs> that was a, that's a good answer, Pat. <clears throat> um, Can't go wrong there. <laughs> yes. If you said Mr. E or Elisha, you are correct. So it was Elisha that, uh, that happened with. So question number seven. Question number seven. In Genesis chapter 25, verse 24, Rebekah gave birth to twins, and one of the twins was covered with hair at birth. What was the name of that boy? Was it Esau or was it Esau. Jacob? Oh, man, Esau. even before I got it done, one of them saying Esau. Was it Esau or was it Jacob that was born covered in hair? Esau. We, the, in the house here, they're saying, you could go with that Mr. Uh, e again if you want, Pat. Uh, we got people in the house. Everybody's saying Esau online. Mom's saying Esau. Um, twins. Pat's saying Esau. Yep, we got twins here. Were one of y'all covered with hair when you were born? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you look like a Chia pet. Like we do, we do actually do have twins in the house, but that's not Jacob and Esau. Um, Martha says Esau. Lee says Esau. Everybody is going with Esau here. As a matter of fact, I even think that you guys are correct if you said Esau, by the way. I think, like, uh, uh, Jacob had baby skin or something. Stephen Lowry says Esau. Good to see you, Stephen. All right. Question number eight. Question number eight. According to Proverbs 6, by the way, we're doing hair in the Bible. Like that's the, I, I guess I should mention that just in case you're just joining. Uh, and you can hit the share button and share this out with other people and they can see the dumb ideas I come up with for trivia. So uh, question number eight. According to Proverbs 16, verse 31, what color hair is a crown of glory? It is gained by living a godly life. Red. 
<laughs> Tasha is here sometime for her, her hair emojis. She, oh, we, we had a redhead say red for the answer. That was good. According to Proverbs 1631, what color hair is... What's that? <laughs> <laughs> Tiffany says gray. Louise says white. But we have some in the house saying dirty blonde. <laughs> That'd be funny if you saw that in Proverbs. Dirty blonde hair. <laughs> My mom says white slash gray. So according to Proverbs 16.31, what color hair is a crown of glory? It is gained by living a godly life. Um, Jeff Gilbert says light, light black, a.k.a. gray. <laughs> <laughs> Lee says white. And if you guys said white or gray, you are correct. Uh, the translation I read says gray. Martha says silver. I'll go with silver too, you know. He was a redhead before. Yeah, and, Mar and yeah, we have someone here who are saying that it's like a redhead, you know. She has gray under that. So. <laughs> oh, okay, gotcha. Gotcha. We have a silver alert in the house. All right, here we go. What are we going to next? By the way, we're doing hair in the Bible. Hair Bible trivia. And uh, there's a hurricane coming through Chattanooga right now, so we didn't have a lot of people show up for our trivia. But uh, so we are at the but church. You get the Die Hard Faithful. Yes, the Die Hard Faithful are here, and we're eating coconut cake and McDonald's. Question number nine. Hit the share button. Trivia, hair trip, Bible trivia. In Luke chapter 12, verse number six, Jesus says, What is the price of five sparrows? Two copper coins. Yet God does not forget a single one of them. In verse 7, it goes on to say something about the hair on our head. What does Jesus say about the hair on our head? He knows the numbers of them. Whoa! Holy cow, you need to be preaching on Sunday morning. <laughs> I mean, before I got it done, we have an answer that says he knows the very numbers of the hair on our head. So... How many people agree with that? I know that's a lot to type, so you can just say agree if you want. Um, yeah, but we agree. We agree. They're numbered. They're numbered. Somebody they're says they're numbered. Numbered. Um, so that is in Luke chapter 12, verse 6. Numbered. He knows the numbers. Lee, numbers. Everybody's agreeing. Everyone is counted. You're correct, Martha. He knows the numbers of the hair on our head. So it's, the older we get, the easier it is for him to keep up with the numbers of hair on our head. But, uh, you know, right now it's a little more difficult for the twins over here because they got a lot of hair on their head. Um, <laughs> Jeff, Jeff said, I'm easy on him. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, all right, if you said the numbers of the hair on the head are something along those lines, that is the correct answer. Question number 10, this is a 10-question trivia, plus I have a bonus question here. Um, question number 10, um, in 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 15, what kind of hair does it say or suggest is a woman's pride and joy or her glory? What kind of hair? Does it say or suggest that it's a woman's pride and glory, joy and glory? What'd you say? Long. We have an answer in the house that says long hair. I agree with that. We have some. We have some agreeing with that. Anybody else? Uh, long. Uh, Louise says long. Jeff says long. That's and, impressive. Yeah. Martha Faye says long. Tiffany says long. Lee says long. Pat says long. Okay. Anybody else? Anybody else? What would your mom say? You know what? She probably said, you know, I may, sometimes I don't get all the answers yeah. for some. You know, like I don't know what happens, but it doesn't give me all the things. I have to go back and see if she answered. Uh... If you said long hair, you are correct. It is long hair. It wasn't dyed hair. It wasn't cut hair. It wasn't what are the other things? Hair. Short hair. What are the things to do with hair? I don't know. So <laughs> no hair. <laughs> I th my mom says, uh, yeah, her hair is her, her glory. So according to Proverbs, First Corinthians eleven fifteen, it says long hair. I think. So bonus question. 
Bonus question. You guys may not know this, but you two probably are going to get this, I think. I don't know. Y'all might get it. <clears throat> and some of you in Facebook land may get this as well. Many people make a statement with their hairstyle or are known for their hair. You guys aren't going to know who this is, but a guy named Dennis Rodman. You know, known for his hair. A guy named Donald Trump. A lot of people know the guy for his hair. Uh, who? <laughs> so, you know, a lot of people, you know, Elvis was known for his hair. Willie Nelson, uh, you know, I'm sure that I'm, you know, totally disconnected with this whole generation. So a lot of people make a statement with their hair. Well, when I met Pastor Bill Owens, he had a hairstyle that many people loved and many people hated. And this hairstyle even gained him a nickname. Does anyone know the hairstyle I'm talking about? And does anyone know the nickname I'm Tony thinking of? <laughs> what, what, we have people giving answers in here. What did you say? Pony, ponytail. Yeah, yeah that, they're all saying ponytail. Do you remember what the nickname was for him? Sister Bill. Martha Faye says, what's that? Sister Bill. <laughs> <laughs> I should turn the camera. Bill, I can't wait for you to see this. Pat says ponytail. They, I asked what the nickname was, and somebody said that it was Sister Bill. <laughs> it was one of the twins, by the way. So uh, just take them both out, Bill. Just take, yeah, no, I'm kidding. <clears throat> so everybody, that is a Silverdale twin. <laughs> everybody is saying, <clears throat> yeah, that's the Silverdale gang over here. Um, everybody's saying ponytail. <clears throat> And the, anybody know what the nickname? I, I guess he probably had a lot of nicknames. Sister Bill is the one I'm going to go with from now on. Uh, but uh, um, because that was the funniest one. I can't wait to tell Bill about this if he doesn't see it. Uh, uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, so, uh, oh, yeah, some of the folks that are watching don't know Bill. Mom says ponytail man, man's bun. That's a good guess, Mom. The man bun. Anybody else? And I'm kind of curious if you all know what I'm, when I, if you ever heard this. The nickname that I heard him get and we'd kind of laugh about was the ponytail pastor. <coughs> I don't know if y'all ever, uh, the, the ponytail pastor. They'd be like, you know that guy? I like Sister Bill. The, that Sister Bill? Okay. <coughs> so, all right, Bill, you're no longer the ponytail pastor. You're now Sister Bill. So, uh, there you but, go. But people did refer to him that way. Yeah. I mean, it's like, you know, the pastor with the ponytail. Pastor. Yeah, yeah, the ponytail pastor, you know? Up there with the like, cross. It, we, Bill forever has been called Brother Bill. But now he's Sister Bill. So uh, <coughs> thank you, Silverdale. So uh, I, I appreciate that. And uh, I, I don't know if you guys will get to tell him. First of all, I'll get to tell him. That is our bonus question for tonight. And that's our trivia for tonight. Next week, next week, we are going to be, is going to be our first Monday in September. And we are going to be at Mocajere Mexican Restaurant, uh, eating chips and dip and uh, doing whatever we, we do, do at Mexican restaurants. So uh, so we're going to be there, and then we're, the next Tuesday we're going to be at Redstone, which is the second Tuesday. The next one we're going to be at Gondoliers. The third, I keep saying Tuesday, Monday. Monday. Sorry. You know, rewind. Monday. So Mondays uh, we're going to be, so we're going to be uh, Mocahede, first Monday, second Monday. Redstone. Redstone, third Monday, Gondolier. Fourth Monday. Jacks. Jacks. So. All right, guys. Uh, I hope you guys have a great night. Thank you for uh, joining in. I hope everybody has fun with the hurricane rain that's coming through and that we won't have any uh, major problems. And uh, um, Tell them next time they need to make a reservation so we have enough seats. Yeah, there's not many seats in here. This whole sanctuary is full. I'm not going to turn around, so you can't <laughs> see. But uh, <clears throat> so, All right, let's have a word of prayer. God, I think that we can come here tonight, and God, right now, uh, we lift up the ones who are in the path of the hurricane that have uh, seen destruction. And, uh, but God, right now, at the same time, we thank you for the life-giving rain that you brought to us through this hurricane. And I know a lot of people probably saw devastation, but God, we want to be sure to thank you for the many, many, many blessings that come from the rain that you brought our way. So God, we thank you for that. And we pray continued uh, uh, safety for the people who are in the path of the uh, hurricane rain. And God, we still uh, lift the ones up who are uh, over in Afghanistan uh, just to be with everyone in that situation. And uh, God, we thank you that we can come here and that we can pray openly to you and, uh, and uh, speak directly to you. God, it's my privilege to speak on behalf of anyone who may be watching um, online right now and anyone who can hear my voice in this room. God, when I tell you that we love you and God, we thank you for the gift of salvation that we have through Jesus Christ. It's in Jesus' name we pray all these things. Amen. Alrighty, I'm going to sign off and we're going to go eat some coconut cake. <laughs> All right.